Hey everyone, welcome to Spooky's Music Lab, episode 13B. Um, in today's episode, um, I'm going to be, this is a response to an email that I got from Hiro Yuki from Tokyo, Japan. He was asking me about, um, he wants me to show him how to play the guitar solo in a song called Just Another Way, which is from my album Mechanical Royalty, which came out a long while back. And um, basically, uh, before I show the guitar solo, just quickly about the song, um, I remember I was watching a band in a, uh, play in a bar, and I noticed that they were playing, it was straight up all just straight major and minor chords, like no augmentations, and I thought, sounds great. And I, and I thought, you know, I want to make a song that's, uh, I want to do something like that. So I came up with these chords, and I combined it with a guitar rhythm pattern that I learned from... Eric Matthews, a um, long time ago, but um, in fact, he uses this uh, this strumming pattern in pretty much every song he has. Like if if you listen to his his music, um, the part A goes like this. So that's part A. Part B is an, is also bar chords, major bar chords ascending in a whole tone formation. Um, in this case, I'm using a um, a traditional uh, rhythm pattern that you'll recognize from songs such as um, "You Can't Hurry Love" by the Supremes or um, "Lust for Life." Anyway, you. So it's like bam 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 bam. Like this. I wanna make a difference. Can I make a difference? It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, now to the guitar solo. It's an eight bar guitar solo. Um, it uses all sorts of techniques, such as like gliding up the strings, uh, pull offs, harmonics, uh, muted uh, guitar tones. Um, anyway, um, it's, what's interesting about the guitar solo is that I recorded every phrase on a different guitar. On it. So I use, in the end, I think I use about six different guitars. If you listen carefully to the album, you'll notice that. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to, t you might be able to hear like a Strat and then definitely you can hear my um, 12 string Ibanez guitar in there. So I'm going to break it down for you into four uh, two bar sections. So it's, uh, I'm going to play, play them for you slowly um, and then you can just maybe put together, you know, one step at a time. So here we go. Here's the first two bars. One, two. <laughs> Here's the second part. Here's the third part. And um, and last but not least, here's the last bit, which contains like a uh, an Andy Summers type arpeggio thing in it. Um, You'll see, you'll see what I mean. That's it for today's episode. Um, please leave me a comment below. Um, let me know what you think about what I'm doing here and um, if you have any questions about my songwriting or m music production, etc. Um, you know, let me know and you know maybe it'll be a topic on the next uh, on the next episode. So 
Tune in next week to find out. Take care. Why do they get